kanaal Peter Motor Test TV en daar zijn we weer met een nieuwe video. En vanavond zijn we te gast bij Tenkater Motoren in Nieuwleuzen en daar krijgen wij een demonstratie van het Alpine Stars Tech Air System. Ik ben benieuwd. We staan hier met Klaus van Alpine Stars. We gaan het even in het Engels doen, want dat komt voor Klaus wat, uh, wat makkelijker uit. So, Klaus, thank you very much. You just gave us uh, a pretty clear presentation of what uh, the, the Tech Air from Alpine Stars airbag can do. And I would uh, recommend people, if you want to have a, a technical information, go to the Alpine Stars website or to the YouTube channel. You can find more or less the presentation that, that you did for us. Um, if you have the chance, because I know he's going to be at many places in the coming times, to visit uh, a presentation like this, I would recommend it because it's very interesting. After this presentation, I got four pr questions for you, uh, Klaus. And uh, the question is going to be based like uh, it's going to come from uh, a general street biker like myself. So the first question would be, uh, seeing this airbag, what's going to be the main advantage in protection for my body? Yeah, yeah as you saw in the presentation, the airbag like fully covers the upper torso. So uh, you just have to imagine in a normal standard protection jacket, you normally have your elbows, your shoulders, maybe also your back. But you rarely have an entire full chest, full coverage of kidney areas. So in these areas, I so to say, I have 100% more protection. Another thing is, as we have a combination of your standard protectors like CE certified shoulder protectors, and in addition you get an airbag cushion, uh, we really drastically reduce the impact forces. Um, there's been a lot of testing of these airbags in MotoGP. Um, uh, I think there you have a lot of experience in, in uh, drivers who did use it and did not use it. What would be your general uh, uh, feeling on what the big change will be in injuries? Yeah, like, as I said previously, we see on one hand in the laboratory where we see a significant reduction, but also from real life, life data, we see if you compare, cra like, we have 500 crashes in the MotoGP with airbag. If you compare them with the 500 crashes without airbag similar crashes, we see a drastic reduction in shattered bones. We see a reduction in bone breakage overall. And it seems that everything shifts more into the, like, a shattered bone becomes a bone breakage, a bone breakage becomes a heavy trauma, heavy trauma, light trauma, light trauma, might be muscle. Oh so well every, that everything that shifts down. So that means that's uh, uh, next to the 100% extra protection on areas where you didn't have any protection before. Uh, also on the, on the standard, because a MotoGP rider without an airbag is generally already good protected. Yeah. Even there you see a big advantage in, in these airbags. Um, as, as, as we street riders, most of them, there's a lot of diehards who drive the whole year round, but most of us, they drive uh, uh, when the weather is nice in the summertime. Um, how much comfort, how much ventilation comfort will it reduce for me? I understand that protection always takes away from comfort, but, but how does that stand up to each other in your opinion? I mean, the thing is, yes, with an airbag vest, I get an additional layer. An additional layer is always a little bit less ventilation and more, uh, more warmth. The thing is that we made a modular system so that we allow you with the outer garments to then adapt better to the element. So that if you really go out in summer, you can install the airbag system into an entire mesh jacket. So from the jacket itself, you get much more ventilation. So to overcome, the, so to say, disadvantage of this additional layer. And then uh, if you want to go touring, you also then have the 3L Gore-Tex laminate so that you can just move back and forth your system. Alpine Stars had a long period of testing this in MotoGP. Um, now it's coming to the streets. Uh, what, what, in your opinion, how long is it going to take that an airbag is going to be just as normal for a street rider as wearing a helmet? Is it going to be actually that normal, in your opinion? I definitely think that in the next decade we will see a drastic move towards airbag. Uh, I believe that racers will adapt much quicker, just simply because they crash more and have to change more their apparel. Um, but also in touring, uh, the move will come. And I'm also sure that uh, the airbags will continue, like we are just at the initial phase of airbags, and you will see a lot of new technology coming. So to sum it all up, Tech Air, Alpine Stars, the future is now. For sure. No.
Klaus, thank you very much. And I uh, hope you enjoy Holland a little bit more. And uh, I hope you guys in, in, in Nederland, ik hoop dat jullie er wat van opgestoken hebben. En nogmaals, wil je de echte details weten? Ga even naar de website van Alpine Stars voor alle details. Of vraag het hier bij Ten Katen in de winkel, kunnen ze er ook alles over vertellen. Voor vandaag in ieder geval bedankt voor het kijken. Vond je het leuk? Zet je duimpje onder de film. En wil je op de hoogte blijven? Abonneer je dan op mijn kanaal. Tot de volgende keer. Let's just break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me, and everyone can see your anger is misplaced, and I'm gonna.